How you doing guys? This is Norman Morrison from St. John's, Newfoundland. Um, I have a lot of friends and family in uh, Edmonton and Ottawa that have been uh, saying, what's this protest on the go down at the HMP? Just to let you know that the HMP is from century. It's a so-called prison for uh, convicted convicts. Unfortunately, uh, about 40% of the population in there suffer from mental health issues and should not be in there. They should be in a long-term care facility so they can get the rehabilitation that they need. Uh, I'm talking to you as a ex-con. I've uh, been in trouble with the law since 88, 89, whatever, right up to 2001. I did my time for my crimes. I admit, I did the crimes, I broke the law, and I and I served my time. Time served. Uh, overall, that um, uh, brutal, psychological um, institution saying that I was institutionalized and kept me locked up for an extra two years before they uh, released me into society. Um, I am now finally, um, we're talking about 2001, this is now 2019, uh, I finally had the courage to ask for help for my addiction because I was afraid to speak out. Uh, thank you very much for Mike Williams, a good friend of mine that started this protest that has also been victimized about everything. It came out and that gave me the strength to talk about my little thing. Like I said, I served my time, you know what I mean? I rehabilitated myself for society. I went to, uh, I, I had to leave work. Luckily, I have a, a company that supports me uh, with my uh, mental illness and my addiction. I'm an alcoholic. I should say I was, was an alcoholic. I'm a recovering alcoholic now. Uh, in and everything like that. Uh, since I've been off, considering all Eastern Health, the government and, and, and the health uh, facilities down here in Newfoundland are very unstable. They, uh, the government, for whatever reason, is not helping the people in the community that vote them guys in. And uh, we're the only province in Atlantic Canada that doesn't have a long-term facility to help out with mental illness, drug addictions of any kind, you know. And this is a shout out that enough is enough. I finally had the courage, no, I'm not taking this no more. The government has to listen. They have to give more money to the addiction council, to the people that are trying to help us. There's limited space. Now, since I've been off work doing, waiting for my uh, programs and all to start, due to the federal government and everything, they love to take taxes and I only get 75%. I had a leak, as you can see up there, the hole in the ceiling, I had a leak. Busted my door, you could, can you see, you can see the air gaps. Air gaps, look, that's the air, that's cold air blowing in there. You know, these... My living conditions, obviously, I don't have a lot of money. Still taxpayer dollars, look at this. I right, look at my fridge. Look at my fridge. It is empty, empty. Why? Look, here's my freezer. Here's my freezers. I can't even, I can't even afford to feed myself by the time I pay the rent to take care of my kids, to pay my light bill, which is over $300 a month because the government doesn't see this stuff, these disabilities, and help out the real Like I said, I had this leak. Here it is. Here's the upstairs damage. Ah, uh, there. Look, I can't afford. This is the wall. This is where the shower should be. I literally have to get a bath every day now for the last year. Do I get help for my mental addiction, for my drug addiction? So these are the conditions I do. I try to stay positive every day by going to 
the, the, the programs and everything that I got to go outside to do to benefit me, to give me the help and support I need to rehabilitate myself. You know what I mean? I'm out here, I'm still suffering. But this is only my story. This is only my story. How about all the poor youths out there in this society that has issues either with depression, anxiety, being overweight, underweight, the stress out there is unbelievable, especially for the females out there that have no other choice, that either got to be a cum, either street workers out there to get extra money to provide for their families. This is not fair. When is the government going to step in and put a long-term facility for the mental illness in this province? We're the only province in Atlantic Canada that does not have a long-term facility. We had this HMP that we're talking about was built in the 1800s. We're talking about 1800s. Inmates down there not getting no recreation. Doctors that is contracted out by the prison system takes away their medications that treat them and lock them up in a warehouse and you're... Your mother is called... To be...